so I'm very proud that you've asked me to be brand ambassador. Thank you. It's a, it's a, it's a good thing. I think it's a, it's a nice fit because um, I love India and I also love England. And I think uh, we've shot, like I've said in the film, I think I've said everything in the film. We've shot some of our best films in London. We've had um, some of our nicest holidays in England. It's an amazing country. It is a varied country. You can have different kinds of holidays, you can have lots of fun, you can have a quiet cultural time, you can have an exciting um, nightlife kind of time, or uh, you can have a very romantic and quiet time. I mean, you can do anything. And you can shoot different kinds of films also. There is um, architecture and uh, a kind of a Taunton Abbey feeling to the whole place, of course. Uh, there's also a very down-to-earth, rustic um, feeling to England. There's the countryside, there's the city, there's Scotland, there's Wales, there's um, a very varied landscape in which to make your films. And also, speaking as a film person, one of the best things is that you get tremendous support from the government to make your movies there. You get about 40% off as a rebate if you shoot your film there, um, which is an incredible incentive. And uh, it's basically a lovely place to be. And I think we are delighted to have Saif join us. And as I said, um, it's often to get a spokesperson, it's quite important that we get someone who really knows the destination in depth. And I think one of the main criteria is because Saif has spent an incredible amount of time in that location. Um, I think most of our Indian visitors know London extremely well. Uh, and so it's fantastic to get Saif to come and talk about the rest of the UK, including England. And you've also mentioned Wales. You spent a considerable amount of time in, in the destination. What would you say are your top three favorite must do or must um, rec must see recommendations for Indian visitors? But I mean, obviously there's London and then Scotland. There's the Lake District where the romantic poets like Wordsworth have written amazing, amazing poetry, which is not hard to understand when you see how beautiful that place is. Um, there's parts of Scotland like Il Inverness and Loch, where the Loch Ness Monster is supposed to be. Uh, it's also a very beautiful place with some very good whiskey if that's uh, something you're interested in. Um, highlights. I mean, I think London is one of the greatest cities in the world. It's the cultural center uh, in many ways. It's a hub. Um, if you're going to America, if you're going to Europe, somewhere you have to travel through England, I mean, through London. And somehow it's such a civilized city and an amazing um, place. What else? I don't think there's that much responsibility on me. I think it's a, it's a lovely compliment they've asked me to do this because I understand both countries and I've actually spent time living in England and working in England as an Indian. So I'm, I'm someone who understands that situation really well. Um, I think it's, a, like I said, it's a, a great compliment and an honor. But uh, I mean, responsibility is a strong, very strong word, you know. I, I think probably, I mean, every, every time has been amazing. My first time was when I was seven years old. Um, that was quite memorable because I got lost. Um, yes, I was reading a comic and walking behind my mother. And when I looked up, everyone was gone and I was on a crowded street. And a policeman sort of helped me. And I remember thinking of the English police as being very nice people. Um, it's been memorable every time. I think, you know, it's, one, it's, a, it's a second home for me. It's somewhere where we go and relax. My wife loves it too. My father used to love it. Um, we have very strong family connections and uh, you know, I think it's, like I said, it's a second home. 